this is an example of grass seed one year later. So I planted this, this was a brand new area in our pavilion or our courtyard area where I planted, um, it was all dirt. I'll see if I have some pictures I can link in here. But I, uh, it was 100% composted manure that I put because I had to ramp it up because we poured that concrete and it was uh, three or four inches above the main ground. And so we sloped it coming out of there. The whole angle of the land in this courtyard area is a little bit at an angle. And the way the water comes off the field. Um, so it, it never ponds or puddles on that concrete, which is nice. And we wanted a gentle slope walking off the concrete. We did not want to have um, a step down where somebody could sprain their ankle, especially if we're out here at night, which we are frequently. So if I step back a little bit, and it's morning time, so you get a little bit of an idea of how nice this is. I mean, the grass is just gorgeous. And I mow this one um, using just my Craftsman lawnmower, and I set it at five. So it's not at the most high, the highest I could go. It's one down from there. Usually on my main lawn, I mow at the very top level, which on this cra old Craftsman, it's a, a level six, but this courtyard I mow at five, and it and it cleans up really nice going around that concrete. I mowed this about three days ago. It's gonna need to be watered. I'm sorry, it's gonna need to be mowed again. So, just an example of patience <laughs> and uh, taking care of the grass, making sure you water. I only watered it uh, continuously the first year. And then I just watered it, made sure it got one inch a week after that, and, and, it, and it's just beautiful. This is a um, Scott's uh, Sun and Shade Mix, and it's just absolutely gorgeous.